but uh, make sure there ain't no problems on there or anything. We're up here at the chicken plant, and uh, got ourselves a Chrysler 200. She's got power and everything, but I think it's a starter to reason why it won't start up. I was ready to fuck up, watch. Ugh. Almost left her fucking key on the damn back of the truck. <laughs> that would have been good, Joe. Jockeys and shit. We're up here to the chicken plant, man. I've done a lot of fucking repos up here. A lot of fucking repos up here, boys. I have done a lot of repos up here. We're on this, uh... Chrysler 200 right here in Herlock at Amic Farms, Purdue. And uh, making our way out to Cambridge up the Hubcaps. Little spot right off the highway. We're gonna go ahead and creep our way up this way out of here. Everybody, what's up? Tell you what, I'm loving this new fucking uh, clip I got, man. It actually holds my heavy ass iPhone 12. I mean, this fucking thing is huge, so. And with the out of box case, I got, I got that other clip that I had. That bitch won't hold nothing. This one actually works really fucking good. I'm, I'm impressed with this one. I'm impressed. Hey yeah, boys, gotta make our way up here. Hold on real quick. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Who's up in here? Who's up in here, boys? Everybody in the chat, throw them uh, chain emojis up. Everybody throw them chain emojis, man. Throw them chain emojis when you come in here and see this video. Even if it's not live, when you come back and play this video, throw them chain emojis in the comments. I'm going to see everybody's chains. Chains and hooks. Chains and hooks, boys. Chains and hooks. We're on our grind. We just, that was the second car we got towed already. It's eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Working on our third. Plus I went to the gym this morning, so I denied a few calls above that, but yeah, guys. Getting ready to make it do what it do. How's everybody's morning is going? Everybody having a blessed morning? What's up, everybody? I'll tell you, my neck can feel like it just needs a stretch or crack or something. Yeah, I, I want to get that hustle back that I used to have, man. That no matter when the calls came in, I, I just took them. It didn't matter if it was nighttime, throughout the night, anything. Like, I want to be able to get to that. But as a man, not having a father or really close family, it, it really hurts me to, to, to leave and shit like that, so 
I, I just hate. Definitely gonna start being out here hustling again. Like non fucking stop, like just 24 7, man. Just going, going, going again. I miss the hustle. I, I, I miss it all, man. I miss doing these calls. It is what it is. Like we made 300 this morning already, so I'm happy right now. Yeah, we got this one. It's in her lot. We just got from the chicken plant. We got to take this one down to Cambridge. It's about another uh, 12 minutes or so. And then um, we got to come back to her lot. And we got to take the F-150 down in town of her lot to the shop down there. I think it's up to Joey's. I don't know. I forget the name of the shop it's going to. But... It's just going right there. I think it's actually going to the shop right across from the chicken plant we were just at. So get right back up here to her lock and get that wrapped up and then see what else comes in. That's good. If it's not something clean across the map, I'm gonna take. Usually I'll try to when I get calls in, I'll try to sit there and stick to a certain area instead of being in this area and have to go way over this area, do some and then go way back down here try to stick to a certain area and just run that whole fucking area the whole day. But there's times, literally every day, I just get them in two separate big areas, but both both of them separate areas will both have a lot of hits in it, so it's just choosing which area you want to go to, and which area you think will be the best for payments and shit like that. been looking at one of those uh, uh, mobile inflatable uh, paint booths and uh, I want I want to get one they're like seven eight hundred bucks though for the cheapest one I've seen but I think it'd be good enough to where I can paint my truck because I think I'm gonna actually paint it myself I know how to paint and everything of course I would have to get the gun and everything again and uh, but I am really good with that shit, so I think I might just go ahead and get it painted up myself because it's definitely time to get some color on here. It's either staying all black, just with a nice, nice clear coat, you know what I mean, so I can start putting my decals on, or, or a nice wrap or something, but I think I'm just going with the paint and then having my truck logoed up real nice. But I do want uh, one of those paint groups because it, it can come in handy for a lot of different things. Then some side work on top of that, so I'm just always thinking. I'm always thinking. Yesterday got nasty last towards the end of the uh, day, and then this morning it, it's just nasty just to begin with. See? Nasty little rainy fucking day. I'm loving these tank tops I got, man. I'm loving them. 
I gotta order some more. I ordered a couple of them because I knew I was just gonna wear them off the hook, man. They're just so comfortable to slap on and throw over. If y'all haven't seen them already, these are the, uh, the ones on my merch website. Minute Man Recovery. I've had a lot of people talk good about them already that's uh, seen them. But they fit real nice, man. Fucking, it's got a nice logo up and everything. And uh, I'm loving it, man. Look at this joint. It's just got their basic logo real big on it. Nothing on the back. Just the logo front. Big logo front, not the little logo. But I love them, man. I've been rocking the hell out of them. I got to get a couple more. Yeah, I love these fucking things, boys. What's everybody up to today? Anybody out there telling? What y'all pulling today? I've already pulled a Cadillac CTS. Got this Chrysler 200. Gotta get ready and go get this F-150 right after this. Just busting this morning, boys. We busting. Bossing, bossing, bossing. Fucking computer's dead as a doorknob, though. I forgot to charge that bitch last night. Fucking stupid. All these electronics, you gotta remember to charge from the camera to everything. Oh, shit, I got to come on. I fucking... I'm out of trucker. There we go. See, look, just to show y'all I'm not lying, man. I was literally in the middle of chopping everything up for y'all yesterday, but this is that episode that's coming out this week. Oh, man. A couple cool little things. I could have hit that one from the side, but I just did that for entertainment purposes. We got this fucking Jeep right here. Just giving y'all a little preview of everything. What's up, bro, bro? It's a little preview of uh, next episode. See, look, I literally got to chop up this last section right here. Just these last couple things. There's not much to chop up. And then I'll be releasing the video, guys. That's when I found them four-leaf clovers. I ain't going to show y'all no more, though. Y'all going to have to stay tuned and watch the joint. You feel me? What's up, Buggy Toe Jam? <laughs> hey, yo, I, I wanna, I wanna start this podcast, man. Either a podcast or something. I don't know. I was thinking about changing the name of my channel, but I've already done linked this channel to so much with Jack TV. I like Jack TV, but I seen this saying, "Not Joe Business." Not Joe Business. You know what I mean? I love that shit, bro. Not your business, bitch. Smash that like button, y'all. Stream y'all in here. Smash them bitches, boys. Yeah, not your business. Not your business. Yeah. Been on a few books, guy. Got another call to go to right after this, y'all. F-150 back up there in Herlock and uh, we're only taking that a couple miles right there and staying right in town of Herlock going right to the shop right there I want to say it's Joey's Automotive but I can't re fucking remember going down Cambridge now you know where Jay-Z Jay-Z did his thing I know y'all know Jay-Z. Jay-Z used to do his thing down here, boys. 
and some of the big hitters he did it with down here too, man. The boys that got the club and the clothing store running. Boy, they was they they had that shit lit down here, boy. And Cambridge ain't no fucking ain't no place to slouch at, you know what I mean? I do a lot of repos down here too. And boy, it's probably one of the uh worst areas, to be honest. Between here and uh, the trailer parks in Delaware, they get lit in those motherfuckers, boys. They do not play in those trailer parks. I've had motherfuckers block me in and everything, man. Pull guns on me. I've had all that shit, man. Run up the back of my fucking truck, all types of shit. It's fucked up, man. Well, I stopped doing a lot of repos right now because with my one and only truck, I can't have somebody on a repo fuck my truck up for fucking a little $250, $300 fucking uh, repo payment. Like, that's not going to happen, bro. No, sir. I'd rather just do one or two normal toes and make that $300 back. Two fucking $150 toes and make that money. Fuck the bullshit. You hear me? I think we're getting ready to come up to this place though, y'all. I know it's straight up here off the highway up here to the left. A little tight ass parking lot. Actually, I think this is where we picked up that uh, Nissan 350C. It is actually. Second, y'all. Here we are. Pulling up in this place now. Oh, hubcaps. Remember this place? This is where we picked up that uh, Nissan 350C. And uh, I wish I had a chance to really get a hold and drive that Nissan, man. That shit was dope. Boys, I love the fact that I can look underneath my truck and there ain't nothing motherfucking under there leaking but my motherfucking AC. Love it. Love it. 
Hold on, y'all. I gotta go snap a picture real quick. Let me snap a picture. Don't get. All right, y'all. Yeah, fuel tank. The fuel tank started leaking before, before, and then the uh, the steering gear box was leaking uh, shit everywhere too. But yeah, man, they fucking uh, took my gas tank down, drained it, cleaned it all out. Uh, now that was in uh, Herlock, bro. Herlock, Maryland. And uh, they took the tank down, drained it, filled it up with water. And then they went ahead and uh, welded the uh, crease. It was literally a crease that it was coming through. So they did that, welded it, flashed it, did it again. And then it did it real nice, and uh, it's good. And just the just the down. Sorry, right, y'all. Somebody just shot a call. But the down pipe from the back of the turbo, the wide pipe, uh, the new muffler, um, and all the tie rods and both ball joints, upper and lower, on uh, the the front end is all redone. The sway bar bushings in the front and the rear. Um, there was a bunch of little stuff done, and uh, this bitch rides good. I mean, the alignment is off just a little bit to the right still, but I mean, it's not bad at all. Look, it's little. That's it. Just that little, just that little turn. So I got to get that centered a little bit, and then um, this bitch is immaculate, dude. It drives so fucking good. Like, even when I hit the bumps now, it's smooth. I mean, of course, I'm in a big fucking F550. Even with the best shocks, you're going to feel something. You know what I mean? It's just if it's going to be smooth or a fucking rough hit. But you're, you're always going to feel something. You're in a bigger fucking truck. You know what I mean? With a big-ass bed on the back. And, uh... And, uh... Yeah, but... All that shit is just smooth now, man. Smooth. I hit bumps and it's just... I mean, you, you hit it, but it's not jarring now. So, I was thinking I might have needed some new shocks and everything. But, obviously, I probably don't. But, I'm going to still get the uh, air bags and everything for the uh, rear. Might even do the whole truck in them. But, I'm definitely doing the air bags on this truck eventually. Definitely doing them eventually. We gotta go pick up this F-150 now. See, man, if I if I had employees and everything, like I would have jobs for everybody to go to. It may not be paying the company as much, but I could keep people employed. I could keep my doors open, still be making money at the same time. Just having somebody running these motor clubs, like this week coming up. I'm going to get new tires for my other van, and I'm going to uh, get a new battery and uh, redo some of the fuses in there, put some new fuses in there, and uh, I'm going to get that bitch back on the road, and I'm going to put a little younger kid that's willing to learn everything and uh, work his way up from doing roadside calls to get himself into a tow truck to going up and up, you know what I mean? But figure if I have somebody in that van be better gas for mileage for one and they can literally zoom around on in that fucking van up here to there they can do them hour trips in between no problem of course I'm gonna start adding dead edge to them and uh, <clears throat> just have a younger kid just whipping all day 12 13 dollars an hour changing tires jumping cars and doing lockouts you know what I mean? Kid coming out of high school would love to do that. Or maybe even someone in high school that's got their license or something, you know what I mean? That's about to graduate or looking for something like that, you know what I mean? Somebody that's willing to start at the bottom and work their way up. And then get one solid driver for my tow trucks.
just so uh, we always have a good in-house person. I, I just want somebody that'll really work, man. That ain't going to be like, man, I could do this on my own and try to go get me a truck and do this on my own and not realize all the shit that it takes to do this shit, and money that it takes, and patience and time and everything that it takes. You know what I mean? I want somebody that's that just wants to drive a tow truck and work. Wants to earn that paycheck every week. It's not looking to fucking get rich or anything. Just looking to get enough money, you know what I mean? To do fun thing, get extra money and this and that. Because I'm going to definitely pay my drivers good. But... And I'm going to also have benefits too. And I'm always take care of my people. But I want them to sit there and look at the company like it is theirs or something, you know what I mean? I want them to be just as much for the company as I am. Just like when I was working at my other jobs, I would show up there and it would be just like, <coughs> you would think that was my business the way I was working on these jobs that I used to work at. Because <laughs> I would go in there and just do it. And do it professionally, do it right. I would never cut corners. I would never do none of that shit. I would never just sweep dirt under a rug. You know what I mean? I always did the right way. I always put a good work behind my name. Always. Yep. That's why when you apply, I actually have a good application, a thorough application, and then for DOT alone, you have to get fucking driving records from their old jobs, you have to get records from the old jobs, and you gotta have that on file for DOT for each individual that's uh, driving one of your commercial trucks, so, background check, all that shit, I mean, it is what it is, drug tests, all that shit, like, can't slouch at my company. You you can't. You cannot slouch at my company. There is no room for error whatsoever. None. Like you cannot make mistakes in this business. There's small mistakes made, but the smallest mistake could cost you the biggest. And I'm gonna tell you, the smallest mistake could catch you the biggest. For DOT, man, you gotta have. Uh, like three months of uh, driving records and uh, all that shit. You gotta have, if they got any tickets with them or anything, man, you gotta have all that shit listed. And if you do all the proper steps, like sending the paperwork and the other company don't fill it out or nothing, then you did your part as a business owner, the DOT guy said, and that there's nothing else to be done from there, but like I said, I'm going to put this DOT video up that's uh, explaining all of this shit. But yeah, it's some knowledge, boys. It's some knowledge. your DOT uh, car? I gotta stop and get some fuel, baby. Fuel, baby. F-150, y'all, if you're just joining in, we're right up here about to pick up East Newmark and that suicide bridge, restaurant, and all that shit. This secretary right here.
Good morning, Brad. Good morning, brother. Good morning. <coughs> what what did you fail for? Oh shit. I was supposed to turn right there, Linda Nav. Oops. Yeah, what did you fail for, bro? Would you have something with uh, uh, your blood sugar or something? Your um, kidneys or something? Oh, give it about two weeks. About two weeks, bro. Took about two weeks, man. Give me one second, y'all. Give me one second. One second, don't click off. This bitch still says I'm 10 minutes away. Why was that motherfucker doing them little ass roads? Ah. Damn, brother. Well, I hope you can get that shit fixed, bro. Or at least get a good driver to, uh, to run your company for you, man. trucks, baby boy. That's right. That's right, boy. That's right. Yeah, you can always hop in here and there. Local shit, you know what I mean? Shit, you ain't got to worry about DOT on your back for. You know what I mean? Sorry, y'all. The fucking uh, service got a little twisted down here. A second. A little here's Suicide Bridge restaurant, y'all. This suicide bridge right here. The water is only like fucking two feet deep. But rumor has it, a lot of people used to jump off that bridge to commit suicide. So, But this place right here, man, they got some good ass fucking seafood. Good ass seafood. Really good. Really fucking good seafood, man. Nine o'clock, we already made three hundred dollars this morning, boys. Look, no fucking bullshit, y'all. Look, missed seven calls just in the last two hours. Watch. Look, here's one coming in now. Battery jump in uh, Dover. Uh, we're going to refuse this one. No drivers available. See, when you're submitting your invoices on a tow book like this in a batch, when they come up in red like this, 
that means the VIN number is missing on it. That's why you always want to try to scan the VIN when you get there or at least type in the tag number if it doesn't have it. Or if it doesn't have the tag number, just go scan the VIN on the side of the door. You can literally scan it and it'll come up with everything. But when you have an issue like that, you just go back in here to the VIN and then just type 17 zeros and then save and then it'll turn back for you that way you can submit all your invoices and then just like that four invoices have been submitted successfully and then hop on over to swoop I always keep both of these up hop on over to swoop and then you'll have all of them right there that need to be uh, approved and you just go click approve on all of them then go back and click send on all of them and just like that all of them have been sent just a little update on submitting invoices automatically for tow book and all that good shit a Jiro and swoop easiest ones to submit easiest everything comes through digitally too I, I, I love tow book man if you ain't got it you gotta get it man and the motor clubs they just come through automatically but like I said when you uh, add an account to your tow book there's an external link in the settings that you can give to uh, any dealership repossession people um, dealerships tow places or personal contacts or anybody that buys and flips cars you can give them that external link they can save it on their desktop and all they have to do is click that link every time and it'll come up with a form all they have to do is fill out that form what you need battery jump tow repossession whatever you click with the service needed and uh, it automatically has their account in there they'll pick click uh, they'll type in the address to pick up the drop off they can fill in the notes, they'll put the description of the car and everything, and then they can click submit, and then it automatically gets sent to you through Towbook, just like the digital ad, just like the digital dispatch calls from Ajiro and shit. So, instead of them picking up the phone and calling you every time they have a tow for you, all they have to do is type the shit in on that external link, and then it gets sent to you straight right away. So it will skip the phone call, to skip all that shit, they can send it to you right away, and you can accept it or deny it. Simple as that. It's easy, man. Easy. It's easy, fellas. Easy. this bullshit watch this too look how much a Jiro owes me 2600 swoop just paid me they only owe me a hundred now from yesterday but 2600 a Jiro owes me 2100 of that is going to those motherfuckers that got me for that car Y'all got me for show. I don't know why this map just took me all these ways when I could have just went another whole fucking way. Literally took me around the front of the river. I've been doing half workouts and shit. 
and all my supplements and everything. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Hang in there with me. Hang in there, boys. Yeah, bro. Uh, that's the thing about a Jiro. A Jiro is a, a Jiro is uh I didn't I didn't hear what Casey was saying, man. I haven't got a chance to watch any of his latest videos. I've been trying to cut back on watching these people's videos and uh just focusing on myself for a little while. But uh Yeah man, a Jiro has sided with the customers twice on me. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. They they've signed with the customers twice on me before, and uh, we're we're about to pull up to this fucking F one fifty, y'all. But they signed with the customers twice on me, man, and got me for a total of thirty one. Uh, and the way they went about it. Like, fuck me, you know what I mean? Fuck what I got to say. Fuck my goddamn pictures. Fuck everything. I believe if uh, if I fought it, I believe I, I would have been able to take it somewhere. Else, but I don't have months to fight it and time to hire a lawyer and shit. Like, I'm just not even doing that. Cause it's going to cost more for the lawyer and all that shit. So I just wasn't even fucking dealing with it. We're pulling up on scene now for this F-150. Yeah, man, it it's crazy, man. Jero did say we see your pictures and and we see we sent it out real, real dry, this and that. But then they fucking found the cost and towing an all-wheel drive without dollies. All right, guys, here we go. Here we go. Tight little fucking driveway, y'all. Tight little driveway. Little old F-150. Yep. That's why I just throw them bitches anymore, man. Fuck the bullshit. Hey, guys, when I get up here, y'all know the drill. I got to grab a couple pictures. So don't hang up when I when I get, get the pictures. But we'll go ahead and go on this call real quick. <clears throat> This is what we got. No damage or anything. No damage, just the hood up on it. No damage or anything. I don't know if it still runs or not. Let me get some pictures real quick, y'all. Let me get some pictures. Sorry about that, y'all. How's it going, buddy? All right, all right. What happened to it? Won't start up on you, none? Um, the, uh, the, the pulley oh. broke off on the, um, on the crankshaft. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, I got about, just to make that turn, probably park right over there. And all of a sudden, I had a big clump. Oh, wow. And so then it, it, it the engine mm. and, uh, Got out to investigate, and there are pieces. Seen belt everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's possible, I think, you could you know, push it to move it around. I think I can get it right there. I think it's pretty good. Okay. All right, I'll get it hooked up real quick. Awesome. All right. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Let's get a big water turn here.
There we go. <clears throat> Works for me. Yeah, I have a little, my, my, uh, my wife's brother-in-law is, uh, uh Oh, he's got, got a, a business company. here? Nice. And, uh, we also do repos. Yeah, me too, yep. Uh, down in Kentucky. Ooh. Hey, that's fun down there. Anyway, I, go, I usually go with him when I go down to the business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet it's fun down there, though, in the mountains. Uh, he's in Louisville. Okay, so okay, okay. Some of these, uh, really good neighbors. Oh, I can imagine down there. <laughs> I can imagine. It gets it gets rough up here just in Cambridge and stuff. Yeah. Where are you out of? Are you out of Cambridge? Greensboro, Caroline County. Pretty much Denton area, Denton. Yeah, but we take on pretty much from really up to Elkin all the way down, really. Down to Salisbury, all Delaware. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do a lot for the insurance. They, they treat us pretty good. We're just going to um, uh, C&C. You know them? Yep. I couldn't think of the name. I know it was a couple letters, but. C&C Repair. Yeah. Delaware Avenue. Two four. Okay. All right, all right. I'm going to lock this way. <laughs> That's the biggest problem. It's been an hour emptying the stuff out of the truck. I need to get out of that. Does your does your wheel lock up too? I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it straightened out. Perfect. What so. Oh yeah. Where was it? Where's the key at? Oh, I gotta get the key. <laughs> I just gotta straighten the wheel up a little bit. able to get that nice little pitch from the side like that. Does your boy just that nice. But uh set y'all back up man. I know y'all ain't sitting in there but it's raining. <clears throat> Thank you so much. They do do uh Good work out there, CMC. Yeah, I've taken uh, a few things over to them um, a few different times. So there were like 30, 35 people who had, you know, written some sort of a good review. review. Nice. Thirty-four of them were like A plus. And the guy called me right back this morning within fifteen minutes. Oh yeah. So they're 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 about their business then. And they don't play. The shop, oh yeah. Yeah. They're about their business then. I'm gonna stick this right here. Ooh. Stick it in a cup holder with everything else. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get my little tag light and uh. Thing has to be repaired. Okay. So, long as it's latched down, it should be good. We're facing backwards anyway, so no wind should get up under there. <laughs> oh, cool. yeah. yeah. We knocked one off the old kind in a, in a parking garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the old wire ones you got to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they make them now. You just plug it in right there and just go just like that. As long as you keep it charged up. Eliminates having a tough yeah, order. Yeah, he didn't seem to be particularly concerned about it. Well, nah, a lot of people aren't. I see a lot of people still using the old ones because they're they're more accurate, honestly. Because if that thing dies while you're going down the road. Yeah, we have these things that uh, 
have wires on them. Hook into the windshield wiper. Yeah. All right, buddy. I'll get it up there for you. All right, thanks for all yeah, No problem, bud. Take care, man. That guy was really, really nice. Yeah, that guy was really, really nice. He said his uh his brother lives in uh Tennessee. And um He said his brother lives in Tennessee and has a repossession business out there and said it's uh, got a lot of bad parts. And I'm like, oh, I can only imagine out there, man. It's probably really freaking wild out there. This tire's curved a little bit, so I didn't want to hit these posts because this driveway's real tight. But we got it. We got it, y'all. We got it, y'all. I hate when these wheels go like this, man. They make the ride unfun. So you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to show y'all what I'm about to do. Because I'm not dealing with this fucking wheel kicking out on me. Even though I, I drive like this all the time with them, man. But it's too wet and everything. Because, look, you got your wheel kicking out like that because of the steering wheel only locks a certain way. And it'll kick the wheel one way. So what we're going to do is take our little dolly strap. Take dolly part. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Set her up to make it do what it do. Just like that. Take the little key out. Yeah, I had to do this yesterday, man. I hate having to do this, but I'd rather be safe like this than to, uh, what you call it. deal with this bitch kicking out, you know what I mean? That's not going nowhere. Ooh. That bitch ain't going nowhere. Now the wheels are straight. All right. All right, boys. Let's ride, boys. Let's ride. Should be good now, boys. Hold on, y'all. We bussing, boys. Yeah, but my man said his brother owns a repo company in uh, Tennessee, man. 
or Kentucky, I think it was, Kentucky. Louisville, yeah, Louisville, Kentucky. And, uh, a backup camera. Nothing. It just, I think the ground is loose on it, man. It's tied into my reverse, which I didn't want it tied into my reverse, but. I guess that's the way they did it. I just wanted it on the button. So when I flick the button, the fucking camera comes on. Because I don't want it just on reverse. I want to be able to see my camera at all times. Even when I'm in drive. So when I put it in drive and I'm letting the car down, I want to be able to see my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and get that wired up. I think I'm going to get another camera too and just have... I've seen the nice rear view mirror cameras and they work so good. They got the front facing camera and the rear backup camera so I was thinking about getting one of them because I can just look up and do it or I'm just going to hang the fucking screen from the top here I was going to put it down bottom like Repo Nut had his shit but I'm going to hang mine from the actual ceiling right here so that I can look up and hit switches while I'm reversing That strap works so much better. I would have been fighting these roads like this. That bitch would have just kept swaying back and forth. And sometimes when it gets caught swaying like that and it gets caught the right way, it would jerk that bitch to the point you think that truck just came off the back of your lift. So any situation like that, I'll just tie down the steering wheel now. I hate having to go to that precaution, but... Is what it is. Works so much better. And I know it's not going to come the fuck out. I think we're only a couple miles away, though, y'all. I need another coffee, y'all. It's crazy seeing all these roads back here that I used to live on and travel on when I was younger, not knowing that they pretty much just all lead all to the same area. It's crazy, man. It's how everything links. Now, I wasn't worried about it. I'm not worried about strapping anymore because I know where that fucked up. That just fucked up in while I was loading them and in the position I was in. It's always best to get them loaded on flat surfaces, even if you got fucking get it there, but it's always best to load them into flat surfaces. Because the way the car was sitting where the two tires were, there was a, a hump in the middle. So where that hump was, it was just knocking them up. So when I loaded them up, I think it just, it either wasn't all, well, no, because they were all still connected. It was just the way it was, man, and, and the front of it having a flat tire and the car was sitting like this, and when I hit that bump just right, it just came off. I'm pretty sure it had to do with that tire being flat in the front because that changes, shifts the whole position of the car. And when I loaded them dollies, the tire wasn't flat. It was straight up and down. So when I load them this time, the car was sitting with a lean, so I couldn't get the fucking bars even. So when I did finally get them up and I hit that fucking driveway, it fucking did that. But 
I'm I'm real comfortable with dollies. I, I know what happened there. I'm I'm real comfortable with dollies. I've loaded cars on fucking just control arms on the back where I fucking stuck a flat tire on the two axles and loaded the fucking control arm on the dollies and uh, flat tires on them. I've had everything, man, and they never came off. It was just the way that car was sitting, man, and the way because my back tire, because I got pavement, and then it drops off the ground, but there's about a two-inch gap between that pavement and when that ground sits. And my truck being a dually, it won't even go over a fucking inch without giving that bitch some gas, especially if a car is on the back weighing it down. So when I gave it that gas and that car was just sitting crooked, we got a battery jump coming in, and that car was just sitting crooked, it just fucked it up that way. Not enough to scare me, but it was enough to piss me off. Because it was 95 degrees out there, bitch. It was just enough to piss me off. I'll tell you that. Yes, sir. To each his own, brother. To each his own, brother. But it ain't going to scare me. It ain't going to scare me, my brother. I've had a fucking lady, bro. I had a BMW on the back with dollies. And I had a fucking lady, an old lady, switch lanes and hit the front of the car where the headlights are while she was coming over and still didn't fucking knock them dollies loose, bro. On a front end collision, bro. Still didn't knock them loose, man. Them bitches were still dragging on the dollies. (laughs) But she caused damage to that fucking BMW, though. Good thing the BMW was already wrecked. But yeah, she hit them motherfuckers, man. It, it still ain't fucking knock them loose. It twisted them up, though. The dollies weren't no more good after that. But uh, yeah, they had they held that bitch on there, bro. Battery jump way in fucking Magnolia, Delaware. I'm way out here in Herlock. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody's different, man. Do what you gotta do, brother. Do what you gotta do, brother. Do what you got to do, brother. Do what you got to do. But I've been using these things, bro, for over 10 years, bro. And that's the first motherfucking thing I've ever had with those things. But most likely it was my fuck up, man. Just I was too hot, man. I was frustrated. Had sweat running in my eyes and my glasses falling off. I just had too much shit bugging me. And I didn't even want to go over the bridge at that point anyway. I had a lot of shit bugging me at that point. Yes, sir. Yeah, I feel you, brother. I feel you, brother. I feel you, brother. I feel you, my G. I feel you. I feel you, my G. Yes, sir. I feel you, my G. I took it as a sign, bro, that when I get that frustrated, I need to stop, wake my motherfucking face, and smoke a fat fucking blunt. 
<laughs> oh, man. Look at this fucking tight-ass parking lot, bro. What the fuck they got me going to? Oh, man, yo. What the fuck is this, yo? Look at this. All right, y'all. We got this motherfucker. We had to get out of that tight ass parking lot, and uh, we're gonna be putting it in a field. Right beside this shop right here. Look how tight this parking lot is, y'all. Just look. How are they supposed to be doing any goddamn business there with uh, that thing looking like that? But they got this whole fucking field right here. This whole lot thing. That's I'm gonna back this bitch up right in here. Oh look, they got an old tow truck out here, yo. Shit, we about to go take a look at that. It's one just like mine, except it's a 350. I better stop right here. Fuck the bullshit. Hey, because look, this bitch, man. I know, right? Look over here, though. Look what I just found. A diamond in the motherfucking rough. A diamond in the motherfucking rut. Man, I'm going to ask him if he want, can get rid of them headlights, man. Oh, it's got the fucking console seat. Oh, man, I'm going back and hollering at him. Oh, man. Here you go, buggy. Here you go, buggy. Oh, I need these, too. I want those, too. But look, I could use this for some parts, man. Damn, though. I want this fucking seat. Let it open up. Oh, yeah. I want this fucking seat. Hell, yeah. Oh, what kind of windows are in it? Uh huh? I want them headlights, too. I want the headlights and the seat in that bitch. There's anybody looking for one. Look at that. I'm about to go ask him, man. I'm about to really go see what's up with that shit. I'll go pay him some cash right now for the motherfucking seats and headlights. You goddamn motherfucking right. It's goddamn skippy. I'll be out here doing a motherfucking, doing a motherfucking skippy nippy. All right, I get you the number, Bucks. I'm telling you, bro, that, that, bro, with a little TLC on that thing, them lifts ain't nothing, bro, to get back right, man. That's the good thing about them lifts, bro. These dynamic lifts are fucking cheap to fucking uh, get back up and running, man. That's that's the thing, man. People don't realize, dude.
People don't realize that shit, man. That's a solid little truck. That, that truck right there is nice, man. Ah. Fuck that shit. Oh, man, this is going to be a fun one. This fucked up parking lot, man. Oh, shit. He got that bitch in fucking neutral. Yeah, bro, that ain't a bad little truck right there, man. That's a solid little truck. If somebody got a little bit of money or if they're mechanically inclined, bro, they can get that truck up to no problem. I'll do the body work. The body work ain't shit. That little bit of rust scare a lot of people, man. Not me. I'm about to go ask them, though. I'm really about to ask and see what's up. Really about to ask and see what's up, y'all. I'm very right back, y'all. Hey, buddy, that little uh, tow truck you guys got over there, you guys doing anything with that? That little white tow truck over there? Yeah, the little white one. Yeah, yeah. No, I just used it for moving parts. I was going to tell somebody some parts off that thing. <laughs> All right, I just figured out ass, man. Well, boys, it's not for sale. Not for sale, boys. Yeah, he said not for sale. Not for sale, boys. He said it uh it still runs, does everything it's supposed to do. He said he moves all them cars with that bitch. He said he just has it over there to move fucking cars with and shit. 
damn, boy. I was like, damn, boy. I would have bought some parts. I would have bought the whole damn thing. I know somebody would have. Nah, I still move some cars around, just moving things around the yard, that's all. Look, we're going past that chicken plant we was at. Full circle, huh, boys? First car we started, or the second car we got this morning was there. Then we just dropped one off literally on the fucking corner. What up, Steve? What up, Jerry? What up, everybody? What it do? Yeah, I tried for you, Buggy. I tried, bro. I tried. I really wanted those fucking seats, man. I don't care about a rip or not. I would have got them bitches re upholstered. But I seen that fucking seat, man, and those clear headlights. I kind of want those. I got the smoked out headlights, but I don't know, man. But I do like the smoked ones, too. Yeah, bro, I, I just found a, uh, a uh, F450 uh, flatbed. My buddy actually sent it to me uh, three days ago. He's getting the, uh, all the information and shit. But, um... He uh, found that bitch. They were asking 19000 for it. Nothing's wrong with it. Nothing. Um, everything was good on it and everything. He was asking fucking 19000 I was literally... I, he's supposed to be getting me the number or something. I don't know. He's supposed to be getting me everything or getting some more info. on. He's supposed to be doing something for me. Just put it that way. Because I don't got the fucking Facebooky and all that shit. So I couldn't fucking uh, get up with the dude if I wanted to, but... See, I literally do my invoices after every single job. Unless I'm on a couple of them back to back. Then I'll just wait till I'm done all of them and then submit them in. Some companies probably submit them once a week. You know what I mean? I just always submit them so that they're in there. I got some uh, regular headlights, bro. I got just regular headlights, man. Um, but I took them back out now. Yeah, I feel you, bro. I would definitely capitalize off that insurance money. Take that bitch, get your trucks right, and triple that shit. You feel me? Get a couple little things you can buy and fix and sell up. Even if you're making $1,000, $500 on it, make that extra money, stack that shit. Make that shit and stack that shit, boys. Yes, sir. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Nah, just regular OEM lights, man. The two pieces. The two piece lights with the bottom corner run lights and then the, the regular one. The two pieces. Yeah, bro. I, I go on uh, eBay and Amazon and they got them on there cheap all day. Headlights, all that shit. Cheap all day, boys.
Yes, sir. But all right, boys, I'm about to keep it alive for a minute. I'm about to give me some breakfast up in me. It's 1025 in the morning. Give me some breakfast and uh, get on some more work. I got to go pick up my cameras and everything because I left out without my cameras this morning. It, get, it gives a decent amount of light, man. Um, I think I could get better bulbs for real. I want to get the HIDs again. I had some HIDs in there, but I want to get a different set because one of them ended up blowing out on me. And uh, it's all good, though. But I'm going to head back, y'all. I'm going get, to get myself recuperated, get uh, recharged. I got to get some fuel up here to the road flow. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next one, boys. Make sure you like, subscribe. We're on the road to 5K. That 5K giveaway is going to be something serious. To Brandon and the other kid, Buggy, y'all shit got sent out or getting sent out. Um, uh, what you call it tonight when I get in there? I got the order placed for Brandon for the first place winner. Other dude. God damn, I got bad after reflux. The other dude I'm getting right with a uh, gift card. Or actually a Venmo. Venmo on him. And buggy, buggy, buggy. If you want buggy, you can uh, pick somebody to give yours to. A random person if you want. It's up to you, brother. But uh, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna try to get this other video out for y'all too, man. Because I, I'm getting behind, boy. I got a lot of shit to upload and edit, man. I got a lot of shit to upload and edit. I might go through and just pick the best ones and make it. Then uh, um, get it going from there, boys. But uh. I appreciate that, Bugs. I appreciate that, man. That's why I fuck with you, boy. That's why I fuck with you. But all right, Bugs. Be safe, man. Be safe, man. Hope you feel better, bro. Hope you get better. Hope you get your trucks up and going, bro. Yeah, her birthday today, man. Big old girl today. I'll tell her it's from you, man. I'll tell her it's from you. All right, boys. Much love, respect, peace to y'all, man, T's and P's. I'll holler at y'all in the next one, boys.